Right, so um, Librio is a uh, enterprise, business-to-business -business, uh, legal technology startup. And what we do is we help employees of large enterprises and large organizations to know what the law is wherever they operate around the world. So if you think about running a large enterprise, what probably happens is you start out in a single country, you end up um, growing, and then you start to grow into other countries, and then by mergers and acquisitions, possibly you end up operating in many. And you end up having employees all over the world doing jobs, operational tasks, running factories or, or retail outlets or whatever it is. And those people usually are not legally trained, but they're interacting with the law all the time. And they need to um, essentially comply with the law. But it's hard for the head office to support those people because they're not uh, au fait with the laws in all of these different countries. So that person living in, in all of these different countries wants to know what does the law require of me in this place right now with all the most recent changes. And their head office can't necessarily help them. So they procure local legal counsel and they end up having all sorts of data in different formats all, all over the place. So just to unpack that a bit, in every country in the world, law tends to be made at many different federated levels. Here you've got the European Union, and then you've got the United Kingdom, and then you've got the countries in there, and you've got the counties and the cities, etc. Um, in America, for example, there are 10,000 cities, and each city can make its own local bylaws. So that federation of law and the fact that it's changing all the time makes it very difficult and complex and slow for people to find out what the law is. And what tends to happen is people then rely on common sense or best practice which is seldom uh, common and seldom not best. So <laughs> what we set about doing is creating a uniform and cross-comparable legal data set. We basically take this very messy content that appears in many different languages, um, in different formats, in different kind of files, and we turn it into a uniform and cross-comparable self-describing data set. That's cool because on top of that, you can build apps. So if you think about it, Regulatory law is basically the oper operating system of all commerce. Any, anything we do is based on regulation. If you can turn that into data, you can start building apps that help to govern commerce in a much more easy way. Um, that creates a rob robust and innovative business platform and ultimately helps companies to be co better corporate citizens. So how do we do this? Well, think about library neither as a lawyer nor as a library. She is a legal librarian. She's this friendly person that you go to and you say, hey, I'm in the factory in Paris today. I'm worrying about hazardous waste. You know all about that factory. Please tell me what I need to know. And she goes off to the library, and she comes back with all the books you need to read and little bookmarks wherever you need to read stuff. So she gives you all the law, but only the law that you need to know about. That's what we do. We create context-specific collections of law that you can then query and be kept updated against. We do that by producing a legal data set, which I can't describe now. It will take too long. And we also capture the context per customer, we overlay the context information with a legal data set, and it produces what we call a Librio. And then end users access one or more Librios based on their job. They're able to search each and get plain language answers to their questions, and they also can receive updates on, a, on an ongoing basis. And that allows them to know their law, know their compliance, and know the consequences of non-compliance. It's a software as a service model built on a full RESTful API, and we hope that many companies will build apps on top of our data set, but we've also produced apps of our own, one for operational compliance and another one for due diligence. Our vision is to cover the whole world in seven years' time. We said that six years ago. We currently cover 55 countries with some law. The market's really big, obviously. You've got the traditional legal services market, the whole um, advisory around operational compliance, governance risk and compliance software, certification, and then all these people who do sort of legalish work but don't have good tools or good data to do it, if we could lower the cost of getting, getting access to good tools, um, then there's a whole latent legal services market, which has been spoken about quite a lot, if you guys have uh, read about that. In terms of competition, we think about the fact that the people want to know the law both here and now. Here, you can ask law firms and consultants, but you wait a long time to get your answer. Now you can consult legal publishers. They can give you all the law now, but no one does here and now at the same time. That's what Libria does. We've tripled our revenue for the last two years since our founding in March uh, 2016. We're a UK-based company. 
We raised a seed round in, that should say, 2017, July 2017. We're currently raising our Series A. We've got content, as I mentioned, over 55 countries, over 60 paying customers, many large and multinational. We've got some very exciting projects upcoming. Um, over 9,000 retail stores in America with the like one client. Uh, a banking customer who operates in 39 countries and a retailer that has 50,000 suppliers that they need to know the, the law. We tend to get small deals which later become large deals. This is an example with AB InBev, the larger, largest brewer in the world. We started out in one country with a 3,000 pound per annum deal and now it's, it's blossomed into a 60,000 pound per annum deal and we expect that to continue to grow. Um, we, we tripled our revenue to 600,000 pounds in the last 12 months. We plan to do that again. We're raising a Series A of $4 million. We'd love to speak to, uh, sorry, pounds, $5 million. We'd love to speak to anyone who is interested. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Librio, fantastic. <laughs>